All right, so here we have Bitcoin on Bybit on the one hour. Um, first of all, my apologies for not making a video yesterday. I did get uh, pretty sick and I just stayed away from my computers altogether. I didn't even make any of my own trades. Um, I just didn't want to give you guys analysis or do analysis of my own that maybe could be a little flawed because, uh, you know, I was I was pretty sick. Uh, got over it pretty quick though basically just like a one day thing uh so here we have bitcoin uh as you guys see we have broken that 20k level it was crucial and also i mean even more crucial was kind of like the 19 5 19 well 19 6 level uh so basically right where we we came down to this other green zone came back up and got rejected from the top of this green zone and that level of basically 19.5600 um and now we're resuming down so we are in the oversold of the rsi uh so we have strong downward momentum right now but it would not take much to turn it around all right so macd also very strong downside curvature Negative momentum was decreasing for a minute. Now it's starting to print dark red bars again on the histogram. So it looks like it's starting to increase once again. Uh, I mean, we we had a drop off right here. Once once we thought we might have a chance, it just rolled over, dropped off. Uh, you know, we knew either we knew if we broke this broke this level, what was going to happen. Uh, we knew we were either grinding out the bottom here or you know, coming up for that bounce, looks like we failed, all right, now, does it mean we're just going straight down to, you know, 12k from here, we, you know, we could come down to 18 and then get our bounce, we can still have a bounce, doesn't say that we're gonna, doesn't mean that we are going to have one, but I'm just saying, just because it just broke that level doesn't mean it's going straight down to 12k or 16k or whatever levels we're looking at, uh, so your vol, is calmed down a bit i mean it picked up picked up during this drop quite a bit but then you know now we, we tried to have a bounce and it kind of just rolled over all your moving averages have negative slopes right now and they are fanned out so basically the bullish case is that we can get back above this 21 at basically the uh the 19 500 level would be what i would be looking at um so now we're going to go ahead and delete this purple box. Actually, we're going to move it down. Because if we can get back above there, I think we would have a chance to at least come back up, retest, you know, these lows, you know, about 2,500. If we can break the 100, though, I think we still could come up to this, you know, maybe 23,200 level. But that's if. That's a big if. Uh, bearish case is that we break 18k and next level i'm looking at is 16500 that's what i'd be looking at if we break 18k on a daily closure on a daily closure we break 18k um and after that 14 basically every two grand is the levels that i'm looking at 18 16 14 and 12 those are the levels i'm looking at um you know so i don't know if you want to i don't know what your plans are but those might be good levels to take a look at you know on our way down if that's where we're going so the bearish case would also imply that we stay in this oversold for a while and the macd continues its downside curvature uh even maybe even picking up some steam if i can click on it Come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, maybe even get more sharp drop down. But that if we break 18k and this thing starts to pick up and we start printing dark red bars on that histogram, increasing them past that last level on the histogram, things can get ugly pretty quick. As your vol is starting to expand again, uh, it did level off a little bit, but that was as you had like a little bounce and a rollover. Uh, so now it's picking back up again. But it looks like it. We have one tick of it picking back up, and the price action is moving down. So that's not really a good sign either. Now, for that bullish case, 
we would need to get back up to the, at least the top of the bearish control zone. Turn that MACD around that signal line. Start printing some dark green bars on that histogram. And also as the wall expands and see where that takes us. So, I mean, pretty short update. You know what's happening here. Uh, just want to let you know what I see in the market right now. Uh, it doesn't look the best. <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows that. But I'm just saying like from this point doesn't look the best i mean it looks we could go a lot lower things could get very ugly uh we will probably get some sort of bounce in the short term off the bottom of this green zone possibly back up to here maybe we range for a little bit have some redistribution or accumulation so now so basically we were we were watching this green zone before now we're watching this green zone all right so if you guys like this video like and subscribe to the channel everyone have a great morning great afternoon great evening and i will see you tomorrow Thank you.